one, one, five. There is a total of 115 stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You know what else has 115? Element 115 and COD Zombies. DJ, hit that sh- <clears throat> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate stages are very unique. A lot of gimmicks, different settings, and too many options to pick from. Now, to be honest, I will assume everyone either picks Battlefield or Final Destination because those are the two stages that makes the most sense to play on, right? You can do combos and take stocks away, fair and square. Even if some bullshit happens, but I digress. But with many stages looking like this, there's bound to be some awful ones, right? Don't be silly. Of course there are some awful ones. Well, to be honest, there are way too many stages to be included in the tier, so I'll just cut it down to two stages. Regardless, these are two bad stages that no one should be picking unless they want an ass kicking. So, let's get to it, Muff. Hey, this is the world if you subscribe to the channel. Now this is the world if you don't subscribe. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now. Stage number one, the Great Cave Offensive. What in the actual fu- Listen, I admire what the Smash team was doing here. They were trying to make a different stage from the usual stages that you see. A different experience for everyone. And welcoming this new, brand new stage idea. Alright, I got the positive shit out of the way. This stage is some hot ass- uh, First of all, who the f had a bright idea to spread out the spawns? And whenever someone loses their stock, they spawn all the way at the top? Like, okay, genius idea, Smash Ultimate Team. And on top of all that, now said person at the bottom is at the bottom, and said person at the top is at the top. And either they have to go all the way to the top, or the top person has to go all the way to the bottom. It can't work both in game and in real life. Here are the most useless gimmicks in the stage. What's that? You want to ride the minecarts? Go right ahead. What the fuck? You probably won't be able to ride it as you take damage on the way, but, 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 but do not worry. It's there for a reason. Okay, cool, there's some cannons here. Wait, they shoot you anywhere? Well, they are cannons, of course. Self-explanatory, if you ask me. But what's the point of these, if you, if you ask me? I honestly don't see a reason for this cannon. Th I honestly don't see a I on Brother, I'm stuttering trying to get this reason out. I honestly don't see a reason for this cannon specifically. You just use the platforms, you lazy. B like, oh my god, look at me shooting it up right there. Oh, wait, someone's already right there. Are you serious? This cannon as well was kind of useless, but honestly, it could save you until you do this. But that's more of a you problem, right? Now, you may be wondering, how do you take off someone's stock? Well, if you're at the top, obviously the end of the blast zone could end you. But what if you're below? What if you're in the depths of this stage? Spike ball, lava block, which, in my opinion, it's kind of OP when you think about it. Because you fucking disintegrate when you die. You cease to exist. Goodbye. Stage number two. New Pork City. Three, two, one, go. Are you serious? Again? Have you noticed what Great Cave Offensive and New Pork City have in common? Don't worry. I'll let you answer. A few moments later. Wrong. Unless you got it right. Think a job. These stages are too massive. Okay, remember when I was explaining the Great Cave Offensive that the spawns are spread out? Well, you won't believe what they did here as well. They're spread out. Not as spread out as a Great Cave. But why is my opponent far from me? Why can't I punch him straight in the face and said I gotta go all the way down to them? Or they gotta go all the way to the top to me? On top of all that, it's easy to run away from opponents on here. I'm playing DK, 
and I'm running away from this Steve. He ain't hitting me. And honestly, it's kind of hilarious, I won't lie. Because I'm like a flying monkey when you think about it. Now, are you ready for the most dumbest? Maybe. I'm going to be very explicit right here, so cover your ears if you're kind of sensitive. <laughs> Gimmick here. This fella. Wow, this little guy? What's he going to do? It looks pretty cute. It looks like someone you'd play catch with. <laughs> oh, Valentino. You're kind of tripping on this one. Well, if that's the case, let me... Oh, my... Oh, my God. Are you serious, video game? No, 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 no. You've got to be joking me, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fucking guy. This... This little behemoth is insta-kill. Just like that? Yo, whoever made this gaming decision, I'm I'm going to tell you straight up. You are tripping. Who in the f in their right mind would play this stage? Okay, so maybe in Earthbound lore, this little guy is insta-kill. I don't know. I'm not big into Earthbound lore or Mother lore and all that stuff, right? But in my Super Smash Bros. game? You're going to do me like that? Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. F that and f you. And on top of all that, don't pick a fighter with a bad recovery. If you are sent all the way down, you're going to die. Straight up. Like this little Mac. Who unfortunately has a bad recovery for the rest of his life is never going to make it back on that ledge. That's it really, that's all I gotta say. Don't play little Mac on the stage. <sighs> In conclusion, if we're hanging out together and you pick these two stages, you are banned from picking stages. Yes, you lost your stage privileges. And frankly, I think I'm going to kick you out. Like this fella for getting kicked out the car for picking what I'm going to assume a bad song. So please, don't pick the stage. For your sake. <laughs>